Good morning, berries. It's not morning. So today I'm gonna to teach you how to color correct. I think this is one thing that's majorly overlooked, especially once you first start making videos. I didn't start doing it until like maybe a year or two after I started making videos. So it's it's just one of those things where you get done editing and you just wanna render and upload your video so you don't think about color correcting, but it is one of the most important things you can do to really help your video um, stand out. I was looking through some of my old videos and I was trying to find like a rough version of something before I color correct because usually what I do is I render a rough, send it to some people, let them tell me what they think of it, and then I color grade and do everything else and make the final adjustments. But the ones I want to show you just aren't on this hard drive. I actually have another hard drive that is at Joey's house and all of the older footage is on there really wanted to show you um, Ruckus because that is a huge transformation. That's an example of a really color corrected video that uh, majorly benefited from being color corrected. If I had just left it as the raw footage, then it would have really given it a different feel and not had been as great as it was. But anyway, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color correct this video. So I'm gonna go through the steps as I'm talking about it and let you guys know what I'm doing as I'm fixing my hair and adjusting my necklace. Okay, so you get done filming your video, you've edited it, it's all done, you really like the way it looks, now you're gonna go through and color correct. Since this is one take, all the effects are generally just gonna be the same throughout the whole video, but if you shot outside and went from inside and maybe it got darker, you're gonna wanna adjust your settings with each clip that you go through. But first things first, so I edit in Adobe Premiere Pro, so this is actually the only thing I could show you how to color correct with, but I mean, I feel like color correcting um, effects are kind of universal, especially the first one that I'm gonna talk about, so uh, let's get started. All right, so the first thing that we are going to adjust is the brightness and contrast. Now this is on every single editor, I'm pretty sure, so you should have the ability to adjust this. So we're gonna go through and up the brightness just a little bit, because sometimes that helps get rid of these uh, nasty dark circles. And then we're gonna pull the contrast, because what that does is it really makes the darks a little bit darker, like my black hair, the seat, um, brightens that purple back there and especially makes this shirt stand out just a little bit more. So now you see what that did. It looks pretty nice, right? And most of the time I kind of just stop there. But here is another thing I like to do, which is really amazing. This is why I love Adobe, is I add uh, RBG curves. I'm pretty sure this is just an Adobe effect, but I mean, download the trial version, test it out, see if you like it. This is one of my favorite effects, and if you guys know about Video Copilot, Andrew Kramer is a, also a very big fan of curves, and it was I was actually really impressed that I found out that he uses uh, curves to color correct. I would think he uses Magic Bullet or something really crazy, but he doesn't. He likes using curves. All right, so let's boost this. I would normally go through each individual, like red, blue, green, and then the master, depending on where I shot this video. Like if I shot it outside, I would go through individually and adjust those colors. But since it's inside and everything's gonna stay consistent and the same, I'm just gonna go straight to the master and go ahead and color correct this. So first things first, let's pull the brightness up just a little smidge, and then let's go down to the bottom and crush the darks just a little bit more. Yeah, that looks really good. And then we're gonna go to the middle and lift that up a little tiny bit. I like it to kind of form a little bit of an S, but it's gonna vary depending on what you're shooting or what the lighting is. But this looks pretty good. Um, I think this is a great start, or actually just a great finish because this is just a vlog. But um, another thing you can do, which I like to do sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes, is I, I like to throw a tint on my video. So let's go ahead and do that now. Now turn the opacity down to 20%, because right now I'm just black and white and it doesn't really look that good. It kind of cancels out everything that we did before, but if you turn it down to 20%, you can see that it looks a little bit different. Now go into the colors and select something different, like do I want this to be a more warmer uh, video or do I want it to seem sad? So if I want it to be like a warmer, happier type of video, I can go into like a really burnt orange or dark yellow color, really close to black. And then you can see the filter. So it does a little bit of an effect. You kind of see that, kind of get it. You can turn the opacity down just a little bit if it's too much, or you can turn it up if you really like the, the look of it. This is that kind of filter look that you see in a lot of other um, music videos 
and kind of older styled videos kind of gives you that Instagram feel a little bit. If you're not using an editor that has layers, what you can do is import um, an image that's you know 1280 by 720 or whatever your frame a size is and have it just be that color and then have it overlay over the top of all of the footage and just turn the opacity down to 20%. It works the same way. This is basically what this effect is. And it's really cool. I think it gives an interesting effect. But for this video, I don't really need a tint, so I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it. So of course, there's a lot of things that go into um, color correcting. Like if you have good lighting, like how I do now, I have two lights set up, one right here and one right here. I am really evenly lit, so when I color correct, it's not going to make me have dark circles, it's not going to increase my shadows, it's just going to kind of enhance the picture. So keep that in mind when you're color correcting. Like, how bright is your footage? Is this going to look too grainy if you overdo it? You don't want your footage to look grainy or get worse as you color correct. This is just to enhance and help it. And it shouldn't be too crazy noticeable. I've seen people kind of go color correcting overboard and you don't want to sit in that boat. You don't want to be that person. Another thing you can do is adjust the hue and saturation, which not all editors have that, like this one doesn't, but um, you can do that too and it kind of enhances and helps the picture as well. But those are all the tips I have for you guys today. Leave a comment below and let me know what other tips you'd like me to uh, make a video about and I will see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. Alright, bye! Love